Okay, so after getting the quest three, um, I have voice meter. Duh, as you can see, and I wanted to get my quest three speakers to work, and I couldn't for the longest time, and I just figured it how. Um, so let's start from the top, I guess. Uh, first you just want to make sure your your speakers are working on its own. So first you want to disable your voice meter. So basically you just go over here to your, usually isn't in, in the system tray icon, but anyways, you just want to go here to right click on the system tray icon for voice meter and then press shut down. I'm not going to do it because if I do that right now, you'll be able to hear me, but uh, yeah, you just want to press shut down voice meter. And then next you want to navigate over to the sound icon. Hopefully you're on windows 10. If you're on windows 11, uh, you, you're going to have to go to control panel and then go into sounds. Where the fuck is it? Oh, my, my eyes. There it is. There we go. Sounds. All right. But yeah, the easier way is just to go over here and then press sound. Anyways. Um, so once you're in here, uh, you want to set this headphones, Oculus, virtual audio device, whatever as default. Um, and then next you want to navigate to your sound settings and then thank you for the lag mate. Jesus. Okay. And for example, I'm going to use Google Chrome to, um, do the test. Now, uh, I have this originally set to my voice meter inputs, which is this column right here, this, this one that I'm clicking on, but, um, we're not using, we're not using voice meter at the moment. So we're going to want to test, um, our headphones. So what you want to do is just click on the headphones, Oculus, or whatever, basically just match the name of this. Uh, also this green bar is always bugged. So, um, yeah, just ignore it. That's fine. Um, yeah. And then once you have clicked it here, uh, you are just gonna make sure you have your headset connected to your computer. So basically you just have quest link on and, um, yeah, half quest click on. Um, I can't show you right now what it looks like, but I assume you know what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so once you have that selected as headphones, you just want to navigate to whatever browser you're using and then press play on a video like this current one. Uh, just a random video I was watching, but yeah, just press play on it. If you hear audio just coming from your Quest headset, that means it's working. Great. So next you can move on to uh, getting it rigged up to a voice meter now. So first you are going to want your pa pause your youtube video because if you turn on voice meter and then whoops didn't mean to close it but whatever uh and then switch it back to your voice meter input it will basically crash youtube and your video will, won't play so yeah you want to do that so once you have it selected to whatever you want or what you usually have as voice meter you want to open up voice meter and this is the most important part Make sure you select your headphones, your Oculus headphones as MME and not WDM. Um, cause I don't know why, but WDM just does not work, but MME works, but there's a, there's a caveat to it. So MME, uh, by default has a higher buffer rate, AKA more latency. So I already changed it, but usually it, that, oops, but yeah, usually the default you can see right here is, um, a thousand twenty four hundred twenty four, not hundred, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you just want to click on the number, and then you press OK right here, and then you change it from here, and to the lowest one. If you change it to these ones, it will clip and crackle. So yeah, don't do that. This one, I don't know, it might be different for everybody on a case by case basis, but for me, this one works. There's no crackling, so I chose the lowest one because the lower number, the lower the latency. Um, now the other caveat is all my other settings before was also selected to WDM. This is my speaker setup, my key EFs, and this is my headphones setup. Uh, the, I then changed this one cause I don't use my headphones while I'm using my quest three. So no need to connect it to MME, but whatever audio, uh, device you're using along with your MME, uh, what well, not MME. Whatever audio device you're using along with your Quest headset. So for example, if you have your Quest headset speakers going and you also have your own desktop speakers going, um, if your desktop speakers are WDM and 
since the Quest only works on MME, there is going to be a delay in the audio. You can kind of mitigate it by fucking with these sliders right here, uh, making your Quest headset louder, which is this one, and then your desktop speakers quieter. And that kind of offsets slightly, but I don't like that because I want to hear my desktop speakers clearly as well, and I don't want to just turn it down a whole bunch. So the only way to not uh, have a delay or minimize it is to choose your other audio source as MME. And so since they're on the same protocol channel, whatever it's called, they share the same latency and they will play back at the same rate or yeah, latency, MS, whatever. So yeah, so any device you want to use in conjunction with your Quest, you have to set them as MME. And uh, yeah, that's it.